Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. We're approaching the month of Ramadan, a special month, a month which the hearts of the believers are eagerly waiting to reach and yearn to live long and start fasting it. Uh, the reason for that is that it's a month that rewards during which rewards are multiplied, sins are forgiven, ranks are raised, uh, a month that has diversified acts of worship, fasting, qiyamul layl, mentioning Allah dhikr, uh, reciting Quran, uh, supplicating Allah azza wa jal, spending in charity, uh, it's a month of mercy. It's, it's engulfed with mercy. Everything about it is good. So how do we receive such a month in order to be uh, able to benefit from it? Number one is that we have to be, to express joy, sincere joy uh, for receiving this month. Ibn Umar used to uh, address the month of Ramadan when it came close and would say, welcome a month, welcome Ramadan, a month, all of which is good. Goodness encompasses it from all directions. Fasting is its days and Qiyam is its nights. The Prophet wasallam, as a matter of fact, used to give glad tidings to the companions uh, about the approach of the month of Ramadan. This is the status of Ramadan. This is how Ramadan was for them. And the Prophet ﷺ was their teacher. He wasallam. whenever Ramadan approached, he would say, addressing the companions, the month of Ramadan has approached you. It is a month that is blessed. And Allah Azza wa Jal ordained fast in it. A month during which the doors of Jannah will be opened and the doors of hell will be closed and the devils will be chained. During which is a night that's more virtuous than 1,000 months. The truly deprived one, especially in a situation like ours, the, namely the situation of, of coronavirus, is the one who lets this month pass without taking advantage of it. Secondly, the way to receive this month is by being grateful to Allah Azza wa Be grateful for what? If you live long enough, if Allah allows you to live long enough to reach Ramadan and enables you to fast and pray during Ramadan, pre Qiyam, then it is indeed a blessing from Allah. And just think of those who are deprived from enjoying Ramadan because of the illness, those who are infected with Corona, for example, or those who had passed away and did not reach this year's Ramadan. Another way to receive this month is by supplicating Allah. Raise your hands to Allah. Or during your sujood, supplicate Allah Azza wa Jal sincerely and persist in your dua to make you live long enough to reach Ramadan whilst you enjoy good health and ask Him to enable you to fast it whilst you are enjoying good health and ask Him to facilitate acts of worship. Because one might reach Ramadan and be in good health, but feels difficult, feels burdened, feels heavy, and cannot perform the different types of acts of worship we mentioned earlier. Now, be firm, and this is how we receive Ramadan and how everyone should receive Ramadan this year and every year. Be firm that when Ramadan comes, you are fully going to utilize its time to the optimum. 
And the way to do that is to make a plan. What are you going to do? So you can implement this plan and thus utilize your time. And if you're sincere, Allah will help you. As the Prophet ﷺ told that man, he said, if you're truthful with Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal will fulfill your wish. You truly want to utilize Ramadan, Allah Azza wa Jal will help you if he sees that you're sincere inside. Whenever one wants to do something, is approaching something of worldly matters, he does his homework. He reads about it, he researches about it, he learns it. This is how we need to do or what we need to do with Ramadan. We need to learn what invalidates my fast, for example. What are recommended things during Ramadan? What is haram and what is halal? And what I should do and do's and don'ts of Ramadan. If you don't, if you can't find it, then ask people of knowledge. Ask those who will know and who can inform you and thus you know and you're informed and aware of how to worship Allah Azza wa Jalla. Ramadan is a month of mercy and therefore everybody is encouraged to receive Ramadan after having reconciliated with those whom he had differences with. Particularly if they are people of kinship. Brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers, sons, daughters, uncles, aunts, whatever. Forget the past. Approach Ramadan with a pure heart so that your heart is clean from any spite against anyone, any grudge against anyone. And that's going to facilitate your fast. Lastly, we cannot approach Ramadan sinning and persisting on sinning. We must approach Ramadan with a true, sincere repentance to Allah Azza wa Turn to Him. His doors are always open for those who truly want to repent from their sins. And repentance is just not a word to, to, to utter and say, oh, okay, I want to repent. Repentance has conditions to be fulfilled. Number one, it has to be sincere for the sake of Allah Azza wa You're not compelled to give up the sin, in other words. You have no choice but to give it up. Number two, you must give up the sin. So, number one, it is sincerity. Number two, it is physically, actually, practically giving up that sin. Number three is to regret having committed the sin. And number four, being firm on never to go back to that sin, determined not to go back to that sin. Now, if the sin uh, involves people, people's rights, then you need to give back the rights to their due owners or ask their pardon about their rights. Let's be careful, brothers and sisters, not to be amongst those who repent conditionally, meaning temporarily just for the sake of the month of Ramadan and not truly sincerely repenting to Allah Azza wa Jal and being firm not to go back to that sin because such a repentance is not a valid repentance. It has to be firm never to go back and not temporarily not to do it. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to be true and sincere in our repentance. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to prolong our lives to live until we reach Ramadan and to enable us to do all acts of worship by virtue of which after the virtue of the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal will be admitted into Jannah Allahumma Ameen Wassalamu Alaikum